4.3 activity. For this activity, you will need scissors, glue, and a box of Smarties. Firstly, you need to cut out all the accounts on the pull-out page and place them correctly in the accounting equation. Consider each account carefully to decide if it is an asset, an equity, or a liability, and then stick it in the correct box in the accounting equation. For equity items, you need to consider whether equity increases or decreases and then show it either in the plus column or the minus column. If necessary, pause this video now in order to give yourself time to do so. Your accounting, accounting equation has assets on the one side, which represents the things that the business has to use to generate an income, and on the other side, where the money came from in order to buy those assets. In other words, either from the owner known as equity, or borrowed, liabilities. The accounts that you would need to show in your assets column should be your vehicles. This would include delivery vans, motorbikes, etc. that you are using to generate an income for the business, to deliver your goods, your products and services, either from your suppliers or to your consumers. You would also need to include your equipment over here. Equipment refers to any office furniture, computers, machinery in a factory, etc. that are used by the business. And lastly, in this case, bank, which represents money available to the business being held in a current bank account. Obviously, there are many more assets one could have, but these are the ones used for this example. Let's look at equity. The first card you will need to place here is your capital. This account represents all the money that was invested into the business by the owner and is probably the most important equity account. You now also need to consider your incomes and expenses. Current income is the income that is earned by the business from providing a service to customers. As such, it will obviously make the business more wealthy and therefore increases our equity. The more current income you earn, the more profit the business will have and the profit, remember, belongs to the owner. On the other hand, the more money you spend on expenses, such as advertising and vehicle expenses, the more likely it is that you will make a low profit or even a loss. This is why we will place the advertising and vehicle expense cards in equity, but on the minus side. It is very important that you remember that incomes and expenses make up part of equity. Lastly, in liabilities, we will need to place the loan account. This is money that is borrowed by the business and will be repaid at a later date. Now that we've placed our cards correctly, we need to look at the individual transactions that have been allocated. For each transaction, consider carefully which are the two accounts that are affected. These accounts could be in any part of the accounting equation and need not be in different parts. You could have two accounts that are both affecting assets or equity, etc. So simply look and decide which are the two accounts that you need to affect. Look at whether they are assets, equity or liabilities, and then increase or decrease these boxes with Smarties. Yes, this is where your Smarties will come into it. Please try not to eat them until after the activity, otherwise your equation will not balance. After every transaction, it is very important that you check that your equation does in fact balance. In other words, that your assets do in fact equal your equity and liabilities. All you need to do is count the Smarties on one side and check that it's the same as the Smarties on the other side. For the first transaction, the owner contributed five Smarties to start the business. The two accounts affected here must be bank and capital as money was received and the owner invested money. So we will place five Smarties in the assets box and five Smarties in the equity box. Number two, bought a laptop to do business administration for two Smarties. If we bought a laptop, you should be able to see that all that is happening here is that one asset is being changed into another. In other words, 
bank is turning into equipment. So we will move two Smarties out of bank and into equipment. In reality, do you see that your Smarties are still in the assets box? Double check, you've got five Smarties in the assets and five Smarties in equity and liabilities together. Number three, took out a loan of three Smarties and used them to buy a delivery van for the business. Note that it is assumed that the loan was directly financing the vehicle, so we are bypassing the bank account. We are going to use the loan account and the vehicle's account. As my assets increase, so do my liabilities. Check your equation. You should see that your assets have a total of eight Smarties and equity and liabilities combined also have eight Smarties. This means you know you are on the right track. Number four, paid one Smarty for petrol. Obviously if we paid, bank is involved. Petrol, have a look at it carefully. Think about it. It is an expense as you are spending money on something that you are not going to have later on. If you have a look in your equity, you can see you have a card for vehicle expenses. So these are the two cards or accounts that are involved. Now what you need to do is you will take one Smarty out of bank and at the same time take one out of your equity. Notice that your equity has decreased because of the expense. If you check, you will see that you have seven Smarties on each side. Number five. Paid two Smarties to advertise the courier service. This is very similar to the previous transaction, but in this case the two accounts involved are bank and advertising for the advertisement that is placed. In exactly the same way as previously, it means that bank will lose two Smarties, as will equity. Can you see that our equity is decreasing the more we spend money on expenses? The business is becoming poorer. Number six, earned four Smarties from the courier services provided to clients. Now this is why we were spending money on the expenses, is to try and earn an income. So, bank and current income are going to be affected. And at last, we can now add four Smarties to each side. Suddenly, equity now has six Smarties. Do you notice that it's more than what they had beforehand? This is because the profit has been made which is the difference between the current income and the advertising and vehicle that was spent. If you add your Smarties on each side, notice that your equation has got nine assets and nine in equities. Lastly, number seven, paid two Smarties in part repayment of the loan. In this case, both bank and loan are affected and two Smarties will be removed from both. Although you have less money in your bank account, you also now have less liabilities. And if you check your equation, you have seven Smarties on each side. Well done.